From across Thailand, tens of thousands of people are flocking towards the capital to join the mourning for their dead king. This lady has spent four hours on the bus to get here. I didn't want to believe the news that he was dead because there have been so many false reports. But then I saw the announcement on television and I began to cry. In Bangkok, many mourners are taking to the river to try and avoid the huge traffic jams around the old royal palace. These two young friends have come from far up river. I cry a lot for two days. You cry for two days? Yeah. Just be when I open the TV or Facebook or Instagram and saw in everything in there, I was crying a lot. Are you worried about the future now without King Tomipo? The king's death has left huge uncertainty here in Thailand. But you can see when I ask people about the future how uncomfortable they are to talk about it. And with good reason. It is dangerous. Any perceived questioning of the royal family or the royal succession here can land you in prison for up to 15 years. The king's son and heir is 64-year-old Crown Prince Maha Wajiralongkorn. The most we can say from here is that he does not enjoy the same popularity as his father. The military junta that currently runs Thailand have said the Crown Prince will become king, but not right away. Instead, this 96-year-old former prime minister will sit in as a caretaker regent. No one is quite sure what it all means. Inside the old royal palace, a hundred-day mourning period has now begun, with a hundred monks praying before the old king's golden coffin. There are very uncertain days ahead here, but for now at least this deeply divided nation appears united in grief for their dead king. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Bangkok.